In this video, I'll be showing you W3School's SQL tutorial and try it editor for practicing SQL coming up. Hey, I'm Vanessa, data analytics professional, and this is Data Savvy TV. If this is the first time we've met, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I provide you with tips, resources, and tutorials about data analytics. So if you're new, consider subscribing. And as always, feel free to pause this video at any time to check out the resources I mention in the description below and ask me any questions in the comments as well. So before I get into this resource, I just wanna cover some basic terms with you in case you're really new with SQL and databases. So a database stores, organizes, and manages data. It's made up of tables and you can kind of think about it as like a spreadsheet with a grid of rows, rows and columns. Um, and SQL stands for Structured Query Language and that's a programming language that allows you to retrieve data from tables and databases. So with that, let's check out W3Schools. W3Schools is a free, simple, easy to navigate website providing training, tutorials, and reference guides for web development and SQL coding. I see it referenced by many developers or college courses as a great resource for beginners and as a reference for anyone in a development role. I myself, um, I'm currently a database developer and I use this resource a lot at work. Down the left side, you'll find all the topics in SQL that W3Schools covers. You can navigate from topic to topic using this menu or you can go through the topics with the next buttons in the main page area. Now, if you're brand new to SQL, I recommend that you don't quite learn these in this order. Um, there's a order that I would approach this list that I've listed on my website, datasavvy.tv, which I'll link up in the description below as well. And I also want to point out this section down here called SQL Resources. These are great to bookmark so that you can save yourself these little SQL cheat sheets, especially this last one, SQL Quick Reference. There's also this really useful tool called the Try It Editor that you can access using the Try It Yourself button. This will open a new window with a line or line of code for whatever topic you were learning. And that'll let you run the code, change the code, and another nice feature is you can type your own code, practice with, and experiment with their database. And if you're using Chrome or Safari, you can actually change what's in the database and you can use keywords like update, insert, and delete. And if you mess anything up, you can always restore the database using this restore database button. W3Schools is a free resource, which is always a plus. And as I mentioned, it's a great resource to have even after you've added SQL to your skill set and keep it as a reference for yourself. So question of the day, have you used SQL at work? What's your experience with SQL? Um, what programs are you using at work at, or at home to learn SQL? Let me know in the comments section below. And thank you for joining me here on Data Savvy TV. If this was valuable to you, definitely hit that like button and share the link with someone who would also benefit from this resource. So until next time, keep learning, keep building up your skills, and stay pumped about data analytics. Bye. That wasn't so bad. Okay, perfectionist, let's go.